that beautiful? Oh, you could wear that, Jan. No, I'm too short. It would look great on Lois. No, I'm too tall. It's the wrong color for me. Good. None of us can afford it anyway. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Guess what? I went to my first Hollywood party last night. I'll bet everyone in show business was there. Oh, yeah? Like who? Well, I'm not very good with names. Was there anything that sounded like Pacino? I don't think so. Was there anything that looked like Pacino? Well, I guess not everyone at show business was there. <laughs> Who'd you go with? Dot. She got invited and she didn't have anyone to go with, so she asked me. I don't blame her. I hate walking into a party alone. It makes you look available. You are available. I know. But I don't want to look that way, otherwise nobody will talk to me. Sometimes I feel I've been married a very long time. So, Vicky, did you have a good time? Not till the last ten minutes. And then... I met someone. Good for you. Oh, it was so romantic. I had just spilled clam dip all over the front of my dress, and suddenly he was standing there, wiping it off with a wet paper towel. Stop. You're making me excited. <laughs> so what is he like? Well, his name is Barry, and he's a writer, and he's real nice and real easy to talk to. Did he ask you out? Yes, and boy, was I shocked. He picked me out of all those beautiful girls in the room. Maybe he struck out with everybody else. Good afternoon, ladies. Well, I see we're all here on time, except, of course, for Dot. Oh, she'll be here. She's just... Not up... late. I'll deal with her later. Meanwhile, I think you all know what this means. Oh, that's right. It's time to see if we're still pleasing to our patrons and not porking out in the pantry. Nancy, we're not cattle. Now, we won't know that till we tip the scales. You know, if this were the best-paying waitress job in town, none of us would go through with this. Ah, but it is. And you will. This whole thing really aggravates me. I think it's degrading. I think it's stupid. And I'm not going to get on that thing. I feel better? Yeah. Good. Well, Jen, uh, take your feet off the numbers, dear. Oh, according to my calculations, there are four more pounds of you than there should be. I guess I get to go on a diet. And I was wondering what I was going to do with my weekend. Cassie? What? Mmm, six pounds over, Cassie. I haven't had any complaints. Cassie, you knew there were certain weight requirements when you took this job. We like all of our girls to be tens. Nancy, together you and I are a ten, and I'm nine of it. <laughs> Excess avoir de poids can make one testy. Don't worry, Cassie, we'll get it off together. I know this terrific diet. Good, I'm gonna need one. Ladies, I'll be reasonable. You have two weeks to drop it or you're out on it. Understood? I'll drop it, Nancy. I just hope you're standing where it lands. <laughs> and this is where I work. Oh, nice. Yo, Dot. Hi, Sonny. This is my friend, Barry Schofield, Sonny Man. Sonny, how are you? You. Barry wrote a play I'm doing at my workshop this month. Oh, playwright. I'm a composer. We gotta get together sometime and talk. Musical. Okay, sure, Sonny. When? Uh, I don't know, but I'll call you. Don't you two ever gain weight? They got on the scale together and they still weren't old. <laughs> you guys, I want you to meet somebody. Oh, hi, Vicky. Hi. I didn't know you worked here. I didn't know you two knew each other. Well, yeah, we met last night at the party. Oh, great. Barry and I just had lunch. Oh, great. Well, wow. this is nice. Too bad you don't have more time to get to know each other. Well, you know, as a matter of fact, uh, uh, Vicky and I are going out tomorrow night. Oh, great. Uh, excuse me, we haven't been in... Oh, oh no, Barry, this is... Barry, is Barry Schofield. Very nice to, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. And this is Jan Hoffmeyer. Hi. Hi, Jan. Nice to meet you. Cassie Cranston. Cassie, how are you? Fine. I hope the three of you will be very happy together. <laughs> uh, listen, I better go. Uh, I'll see you at rehearsal. Right. right. Okay. Uh, gee, I better be going, too. Uh, Vicky, I'll see you tomorrow. Right. Okay. Uh, it was very nice meeting all of you. Uh, sure. Uh, see you. Soon. <laughs> That was Barry. That's the guy I was telling you about. Yeah, we picked up on that. Well, what do you think? Uh, I think we have something to talk about for the next couple of days. Yeah, well, I better go straighten this out with Dot. Some fine state of affairs, huh? Well, Dot, your little body is perfect. If only you had a little mind to go with it. Hi. Hi. Well, well, well. Imagine us both meeting the same guy. Yeah. 
And one of us has been out with him, and the other one of us is going out with him. Yeah. Dot, I don't have to go out with him if you don't want me to. No. Go. Heck. If you're interested in him. Me? Oh, no. No, not really. I mean, I've been out with him a couple of times, but there's nothing that hot really going on between us. We're just friends. So, uh, I think you should go out with him if you want to. You sure? Sure. Cross your heart and hope to die. Yes. I just want to make double sure. Well, okay. Fine. What am I going to wear? Oh, you'll think of something. That cute little red dress of yours. See? Thought of something. Oh, it'll be perfect for a first date. Oh, no, it wouldn't. It's, it's got too much cleavage. See, I don't want it to be too suggestive because I don't have any suggestions. On the other hand, I don't want to look totally sexless. Vicky, the dress has buttons. Just open them and close them, depending upon what you want to say. Oh, Dot, thank you for the dress, and thanks for inviting me to the party. If it weren't for you, I never would have met Barry. I know. <laughs> I know. How's it going? Oh, pretty busy. How's it going with you? Oh, my station's kind of slow right now. By the way, how are you and Barry? You never mention him. Well, I guess I feel kind of awkward talking about him in front of you. Because I used to date him? Oh, that's okay. I want to hear. Well, it's been pretty good. We've been out three times this week. Oh, I just wondered. Last night we went to this club in Hollywood and we heard the saxophone player. Oh, God, he was so incredible. Good, good. And the night before that we went to this restaurant in the marina. It was right on the water and you could see the boats come in. I'm glad things are going so well for you. And the night before that we Vicky, went to the... do you mind? I have millions of tables to wait on. <laughs> Lost an ounce. Jan, your diet doesn't work. Well, it's working for me. Look, you can't expect the same results right away. We don't have the same bodies. As if I had to remind myself. Hi, guys. Hi, Cassie. Is anything wrong? No, just dying of malnutrition. You're here early. How'd that happen? Well, uh, I have a problem. Vicky isn't here, is she? Nope. Is she the problem? Barry's the problem. What's going on? Well, you know I'm in that play that Barry wrote, and we started rehearsing this week. Mm -hmm. And today he asked me out. Isn't he still dating Vicky? I think we've come to the problem. <laughs> yeah. See, I liked Barry all along, but I told Vicky I didn't mind if she went out with him, because when he asked her out, I figured he didn't like me. Now he says he did like me, he just didn't think I liked him. Where does that leave Vicky? Well, he still likes her. He just wants to see me, too. You know, I have half a mind to hit on this guy and take him away from both of you. But I'm too weak. It's just a mess, isn't it? Not unless you're thinking about going out with a jerk. He's not a jerk, and of course I'm thinking about it. I mean, I don't want to hurt Vicky, but like I said, I really like the guy. That's too bad. I like him. You told Vicky you weren't interested. Well, that was when I didn't think I had a chance. For all I know, Barry Schofield could be Mr. Wright. <laughs> and who knows how often Mr. Wright comes along? I'm telling you, don't do it. There's no sure way to break up a friendship. Sure there is. Go on a diet together. <laughs> Lewis, what am I going to do? Why does everybody always ask me that? You made your bed, now lie in it. I'm asking Lois. Okay. If you want my advice, I'll give it to you. But that does not necessarily mean that you have to take it. Lois, hurry up. Vicky will be here any minute. <sighs> I hate this. Lois. All right, all right, all right. If I were you, and with each passing day, I'm glad I'm not. I would tell Vicky everything that you've told us the minute that she walks in here. You owe it to her to let her know what's going on. I was afraid you'd say that. You see why I hate this? I'm sorry. But you're right. And I'll tell her the minute she walks in. Hi, guys. Hi. Hi. Vicky, could we talk? It's kind of important. Okay, but I don't have much time. I have to iron this dress. Uh, is that for a date? Huh? Yeah. With Barry? Yeah. Well, uh, I'll help. I'll get the iron. Oh, thanks. Vicky, how much do you like Barry? I like him. You don't want to marry Barry, do you? No. Do you want to live with him? Dot, if I don't want to marry him, how could I live with him? <laughs> okay, that helps. 
What's all this about? Maybe I better hold this for a minute. <laughs> Barry asked me out. What? That little sneak? Well, see, the thing is, though, Vicky, I really like the little sneak. <laughs> oh. Oh, so that means I want to go out with him again. You were planning this all along, weren't you? What? Oh, come on. I didn't just fall off the potato truck, you know. <laughs> you must have given him some encouragement. And then you were so eager to find out how things were going with Barry and me. Your whole plot is painfully obvious. <laughs> okay, Vicky, I was trying to be honest with you. Well, I'm through being honest. I can be just as sneaky and double-crossing as you are. Well, go ahead. Maybe it'll help develop your personality. I've got tons of personality. And I've got Barry. Well, not for long. Oh, uh, just a reminder to Cassie and Jan. Tomorrow is weigh-in. Yeah, yeah, I remember. Don't worry about me, Nancy. I already lost my four pounds. Ooh, very good, Jan. Ooh, very good, Jan. How'd you like me to force feed you a strawberry shortcake? Hey, can I help it if you can't shave off a little lard? <laughs> Come on, girls. Let's not pick at each other, huh? Oh, shut up, Lois. You're not perfect either, you know? I'm in a good mood. I'm going to stay in a good mood. Look, what do you say we all go out and have a drink? Eh, uh, Kenny yeah. won't drink. Okay, fine. But I'm going to get out of here, go someplace, relax, maybe have a glass of wine. Oh, come on, I don't want to go alone. Aha! Uh -huh. This is the part, you see, where you guys are supposed to say, Hey, Lois is right, let's go out and hoist a few. I'm buying. I'm up to Well, it. maybe why not? You insist. Gee, you guys are fun to do things with. <laughs> Oh. Hey, this is nice and cozy, don't you think? Lois, this is a bar, not a mountain cabin. Let's just find a table and sit down. Oh, right over there. Okay, I think I have enough strength to make it there. Hey. Three drinks to last call, and I'm tired, so what'll it be? Am I the only happy waitress in town? I'll have a glass of white wine, please. Me too. White wine, please. I'll have a Singapore sling. Locale anything, and don't bring any pretzels. Thank you very much. Well, I like this place. It's nice, homie. Not anymore. What? In the corner. Well, well, well. If it isn't Barry and little Miss Muffet. I think we'd have more fun someplace else. Hmm? Why don't you guys come on over and join us? I think we should just slip out of here nice and quietly. Hmm? Too late. All right, you guys, what's the big idea? Hi, Vicky. Hey, cute dress. It's mine. What are you doing here? Just out for a little drink in a public bar? Why don't you bring Barry over? I'm sure he's bored to death by now. I don't believe this. You guys came in here to spoil my date. Oh, I'm sure you didn't need our help. <laughs> All right, whose idea was this anyway? Lois. Vicky, we didn't know you were going to be in here. Well, then would you kindly take my ex-friend and go someplace else? Don't we get to say hello to Barry? Why waste your time on him? There must be other women in this bar whose men you can steal. You know, I've had it. We've all had it. I told you. I told you not to go out with him, but no. He might be Mr. Wright. And you... Jen, Jen, it's a little late for I told you so's. However, we did tell you so. But that doesn't matter. What matters is that you two are about to destroy a friendship. And over what? Him? <laughs> Could you sit down, please? Here. Sit here. Look, I lost a best friend once. And I mean, we were close. We did everything together. She was the one person that I could really talk to. And we had a fight over something almost as stupid as this. And we never spoke again. And I'll tell you the truth. There are still days when, when something will happen that I want to tell her about or laugh with her about. And it's too late. So before you guys make the same mistake, would you please just throw your arms around each other and be friends again? I'd rather throw my arms around a basket of snakes. Well, I hope you get that chance. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have a date. Oh, and I'm going to go home and get some sleep, because tomorrow night, I have a date. And I'm getting fired tomorrow, so what the hell am I doing sitting here drinking Diet Cola? I'm going to go get a pizza. Good idea. I'm starved. 
I knew this would be fun. Oh, Cassie, dear, there you are. Uh, shall we retire to the lounge and see if we've had any luck in trimming the fat? Look, I didn't do it, okay? I starved, I steamed, I jogged. I even had my hair cut. All I lost was two pounds. I figure the rest of it must all be bone, blood, and other stuff I'm going to need. Cassie, I'm afraid you've given me no choice. In that case, there's If really she goes, to... I go. What? You heard me. Would you excuse us, please? Is this your idea of a joke? I like the way she looks. She inspires my cooking. And my cooking is what makes this place run. So if she goes, I go with her. Savvy? Mario, I have never liked threats. No one does. That's why they're so successful. <laughs> Cassie, dear, come here. You know, on thinking it over, uh, I've decided it's only fair to give you one more week. <laughs> Are you? I don't know what to say. It's okay. I sympathize with you. My wife had an eating problem. The day we were married, I went to cut the wedding cake, and it was gone. <laughs> Nancy's looking for you. She found me. And? I get to live on rye crisp for another week. <laughs> Hello, Lois, Jan, Cassie. Hussy. <laughs> well, I've heard enough. I'm leaving. If it looks as though we're walking out on you, it's just that we can't stand to be around you anymore. <laughs> I believe this dress is yours. So do I. I also brought back your sweater. When did you borrow that? The night we doubled at the Japanese restaurant. Oh, that's right. You were dating that really skinny guy. What was his name? <laughs> Douglas, and he wasn't that skinny. He was slender. Besides, your date was no winner either. We all had to chip in to pay for his dinner. I don't remember that. Yeah, well, here are your shoes and your blouse and everything else I borrowed. No wonder Barry was interested in you. You had all my stuff. <laughs> well, you have it all back now. Except for this. That was a gift. I know. I just wouldn't feel right keeping it. All right. If you say so. Well, I guess that's it. I guess so. I never realized how many of my things you had. Yeah, well, everything I brought from Idaho seemed pretty out of place here. Especially me. Boy, did I feel out of it. Everybody seems so sophisticated. Cassie, you... Me? Yeah. You were an actress. You were so exciting and interesting. I wanted to be just like you. I didn't know you felt that way. I wonder if that's why I wanted Barry so much. That night he asked me out at the party. For the first time since I'd been here, I felt like I really arrived. I mean, he was the kind of guy who normally asked you out. And did. <laughs> Dickie, he's just a guy. If he's just a guy, how come we're making such a big deal out of this? Maybe because I got jealous. When Barry asked you out, I... I thought you had something I didn't. Really? Sure, and you do. You have lots of things I don't have. Guess that's why we're friends. If we're friends, how come we hate each other so much? I don't hate you. I don't hate you either. I guess we just got crazy over dating the same guy. I don't know what happened to me. In Pocatello, we would never date anyone who was going out with a friend. We didn't do that in Detroit, either. <laughs> Barry is a nice guy, but if it's a choice between him and our being friends, well, I would rather have our friendship. So would I. Let's not ever let anything like this happen again. Right. But listen, we spend a lot of time together, so what do we do if we meet another guy we both like? Well, we just have to be more mature. We're friends, we're adults. I'm sure we could come up with something that works. How about, uh, whoever sees him first? <laughs> That's fair. 